Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. I'm Denver Davis, and with me now is Ray Archuleta. We're in Archibald, Ohio, for the uh, Farmer to Farmer Advocate Program. Uh, and Ray was a guest speaker with us today. Uh, Ray, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? My career started with NRCS. I used to be an agronomist, a water quality specialist, and I ended my career as a soil health specialist. And so I put 30 years in with the agency, and I taught people regenerative agriculture. That's what I did for the last, well, my 30 years in the career in NRCS. Ray, why don't you explain regenerative agriculture for us, for our audience? I tell you, there's a lot of people have all kinds of definitions for regenerative agriculture. My definition of regenerative agriculture is pretty simple. How do you emulate intelligent design? Regenerative agriculture comes from the word renewal, to regenerate, to tap into that life source. And a lot of times I'll use people in the audience, I said, I'll pick a man from the audience and say, hey, ma'am, how would you feel married to that guy? Oh, it's sustainable, and people start to laugh. But what if I said, ma'am, how does it feel to be married to that man? Oh my God, it's regenerative, it's renewing, it's always getting better, it's life. Regenerative agriculture is tapping into the power of life, how to mimic nature. That's what regenerative agriculture is. What I learned in college, and like I think most farmers learned how do we control nature? How do we force it? How do we get yield? I was taught, I got to get up every morning and see what I have to kill because nature's against me. What regenerative agriculture teaches, what can I make alive? How can I mimic the natural system? And what those demonstrations do shows us what we are doing to our soils. What is happening is when we have excessive tillage, excessive herbicides, fungicides, chemicals, those are hurting our soils. It's diminishing the life in the soil. And so what those demonstrations do is really connect with the producer and it shows them it is important how we till, how we use these chemicals, what we're doing with our fertilizers. The soils are alive. That's what I love about the demonstrations. And it's one of the most difficult things to teach people. The soil is alive, just like you. It breeds. It reproduces, it breathes, it breathes air, and, and it respires CO2. It's alive. And I tell farmers, if you don't understand that it's alive, I can't help you. Number one issue with producers, they do not believe their soil is alive. They think it's dirt. And the demonstrations show it's alive. There's a term called agroecology. What does that mean? Agro, part of the system, ecology. Ecology is the natural system, it's the planet, it's the study of the earth. What I'm teaching people is how do we infuse more ecology into our agroecosystems? And the reason I, I start off with the term death by tools, because of our excess tillage, our excess use of fungicides, insecticides, and herbicides, and all the sides, because sides means to kill, it's damaging our soil ecosystem. And like you said, I'm not against those tools. We need those tools but what I'm against, use them foolishly, that hurts our soils. And, it, and if we hurt our soils, we hurt our plants, we hurt our animals, we hurt our climate, and we hurt our own human health. Those tools, we have to use them wisely. That's why I came with the, the term death by tools. We are killing our soils because we still do not understand that the soils are alive. We have to be careful with our tools. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, how would a farmer start uh, down this regenerative ag road, and uh, what's your what's your driving home message for everyone? Look, first thing is, I tell producers if you want to get down this path, is number one is understand that the soil is alive, and to start to educate yourself and start reading books on soil ecology, soil microbiology. Go to a class like Soil Health Academy. Start learning about the power of life. That's where I start with producers. I get calls from big chemical companies. I get calls from organizations all over the place and it says, Ray, what's the first thing you start doing? It's teaching the farmer that the soil's an absolute living system. That's how you start first. Understand that it's alive and start educating yourself. It's ironic. Farmers will spend $200,000 on a tractor, but they won't spend two or $3,000 to go learn and teach them how to emulate nature and change their life and save them millions for the rest of their life. Isn't that ironic? 
education. Education is pivotal. Start reading, start learning, start reading some of these magazines like No-Till Magazine where they start talking about biology. It's all over now. And, and for farmers and ranchers that want to learn more how to mimic nature, it's called soulhealthacademy.org. You can find them online. And the beauty about these groups is that we have farmers and ranchers teaching other farmers and ranchers. And that's the beauty about this and how to emulate the natural system. So go to soilhealthacademy.org and understandingag.com. Those are great resources. And the last one will be Ray the Soil Guy, LLC.com. Thanks for being with us today, Ray. Thank you, Denver, for interviewing me. We'll be back with more In Ohio Country Today.